Hi, I'm Abby Cole. I am one of the original demonstrators of the 2005 to 2012 compulsory routines. Now I have had the opportunity to train the BEAM athletes as we've traveled across the country and taught all of the coaches and athletes these new wonderful routines. One of the things I really want to focus on is teaching you drills, co complexes, and cues to help the girls learn the routines and make it more of a fun process. One of the main things we need to work on is training the girls with turnout. If they aren't turning out, it makes these routines extremely hard to score well. I also want to work on passe. Passe is one of the most main things that these routines have because there is no longer coupe except for level one. So if you start with your little itty bitties with passe, it really, really helps with the girls when they get to levels three, four, and five. I also want to say thank you to my demonstrator, Avery. She's been a great help. And I also want to say thank you to Capital Gymnastics because without them, I would definitely not be filming this today. When teaching the routines, you have to be able to use words that grab the athlete's attention. Typically, the gymnasts do not comprehend words when you say arms inside middle or arms forward, upward, diagonally high, but they do remember airplane arms or monkey arms. So if you can make the routines tell a story rather than a confusing stream of big terms that they don't understand, you can spend more time perfecting the routines and less time trying to memorize them. This way, the routines are also more fun for everyone. We're going to start with the arm movements. First one I want to talk about is standing with your arms by your side. I like to call this soldier arms. So that way when the girls are running wild and crazy with their arms and I say soldier, they know exactly where to go. The next one I want to talk about is airplane arms. That's with your arms out to side middle. When the book references side middle, I say airplane. So the girls immediately know where their arms go. A great way to use this is in the leaps. So I'll have Avery do a leap and show me what her arms do in a leap with side middle. So step, leap. Here I have her arms and her chest up and I call this a successful airplane landing because her chest is up and her arms are out. Now I'll have her do it again and I tell the girls, you don't want to crash your airplane because then your passengers won't be too happy. So when you see this, that's what you can tell them and a lot of the time this is what we see. Another arm movement that we want to talk about is monkey arms. Now, when we talk about hands on their hips in the compulsories, the book actually tells you that hands on hips is where the leotard line is on the gymnast. So when they're doing monkey arms, make sure that their arms are down and not up by their ribs. Another arm movement that the book talks about is high diagonally upward. I like to call this V for victory. I also like to tell the girls to pull their pinkies back towards each other and that creates the openness of the V instead of closing their chest. Another arm movement I want to talk about is crown. If you notice in these new compulsories, we talk about crown a lot. The book either reads high, which is arms up by your ears, or crown. If the book reads crown, your arms must be in crown. When it's high, you're allowed to be high or in a crown position but you have to be in crown if the book reads crown because now it is actually in a dedu deduction. You also want to make sure that in crown that the gymnast has their shoulders down and a long neck. If you do not see that, the judges are actually able to take deductions now. So make sure when the book reads crown that you have your gymnast doing a crown position. So now we're going to talk about the finishes that come out and you can use this actually on beam or floor, specifically on beam coming out of the turns. I like to call it my one, two, three. So here Avery is finishing her turn and I say this is her one position. When she steps forward and goes through her plie,